Hey everyone, we are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we finally decided we'd had enough and it was time for some adventure. So we quit our jobs, rented out our house and sold pretty much everything we owned. And while most midlife crises end up with a sports car, we bought a narrowboat called Kimberly Joe. And along with our newest crew member, Willow, we travel all over the UK's stunning and beautiful canal network. It'd be great if you came along and joined us on Same Ship, Different Day. Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. This week we see a boat crash right outside our mooring before an even bigger crash involving Kimberly Joe. I start a new DIY project, yep, another one. And after all of our problems getting there, we managed to miss our turning onto the Shropshire Union Canal. Join us this week on the same ship, different day. So I, today I'm going to have a go at touching up some of the um, rusty bits that are on the side of the boat. And I've been putting it off because all the jobs seem so big that I don't do them at all in the end. And then we were watching the pirate boat vlog the other day. And she just said she breaks them down into like smaller, more manageable jobs. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to do this bit and tackle the little rusty bits that are on the side of the boat and uh, see how we get on. It can't look any worse than it does. So it got like this because we bought little magnetic signs that went on the side of the boat um, because people were asking us what our channel was when we were cruising along. So we thought, oh, we'll do that. And then water got underneath it and it all started to lift off. So we caused this. But uh, yeah, so we're going to give it a go, give it a quick wipe over now and then I'm going to give it a go, give it a go, just to do this section here. The bloke who had the boat before us said he used um, Hammerite black as the undercoat and then the coach paint from Craftmaster on top. So we're going to give that a go and see how it goes. It's hard work. <laughs> so I've been doing it by hand to avoid doing a whole panel. But what I might do is just do a panel. I'll tell you do. what would be handy if you've got the mouse sander out and the power bank. I can put the lead through the thingy. It's much more detailed. The rotary sander is massive. Okay. So I could do a much smaller panel. done. Um, just wiped over a bit of white spirit just to get rid of any greases and stuff. I don't know if that's the right thing to do but that's what it is. And then um, I'm going to put the undercoat on which is the hammerite stuff so I'm going to put the undercoat on. So you've managed to paint your face. Have I? Really? We've got three eyebrows now. Great. That's my unibrow. Yeah, so first undercoat's on. We'll see how it dries. It looks very bobbly to me. But what I'll do is I'll just give it a fine sand before I do another coat of undercoat. And then a couple of coats of top coat. And we do know it's black. It's going to be blue. It is going to be blue. It's black because it's black undercoat for blue paint. Check it out. This boat here went flying past us in the other direction about five minutes before. And then when it came flying back past us five minutes later, it was being driven by a child. That child obviously then crashed it into the side. We went out to see if we could help. In the end, there was more danger to us and to Willow than there was to them. Well, we are just getting ready to leave this lovely mooring and head to Brood or Brewood, if you want to be picky. Now, the reason I'm out here now though is just behind us there, that bush has been very eventful. As you saw, um, that boat that crashed and they let the kid drive and everything else, that was just there. And last night, about eight o'clock, I guess it must have been, I heard a lot of commotion. So I came out to the back of the boat there, inside still, but just looking through the, um, through the window. And there was a boat and it was stuck in amongst all those bushes. So I thought I'll come out and give them a hand. And then just as I was getting into the back of the boat, again, I'll go back 
so you can kind of see it. So just as I was getting into the back of that boat um, and was looking out the window, the boat started heading straight for us. It wasn't going overly fast, um, probably a tick over-ish, maybe a little bit quicker. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll get out and I'll be able to grab their rope and stop it from hitting us. It would have only been a small kind of a bump. Next thing I know, they've, um, they've tried to reverse, but they've pushed the gear lever in the wrong direction and it hit accelerate instead. Great. So this boat now comes flying towards us. I'm on the back deck, had no chance to do anything. It smashed into us. The noise was unbelievable. Um, shook the whole boat. Um, the nappy pin came flying out. I'll show you that in a moment. Nappy pin came flying out, landed on the back of the boat. It's bent a little bit of the back of the boat. Um, one of the hook things on the back of the boat, it bent as well. Knocked things out of cupboards, all that kind of stuff. It was unbelievable. So obviously a nappy pin came flying out. So I've had to try and jump back on the boat to get the rope, to pull the boat back in again, moor it back up. That was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I mean, it was a pure accident. They were very nice about it, obviously. They were very apologetic. But um, God, I, the noise was incredible, absolutely incredible. So yeah, I'll just show you the nappy pin now so you can kind of see the, the force it must have hit us with. And I'll show you a little bit where the damage was. Right, so the damage you can see for where the boat hit you see that ring that's holding on our big fender? Well, if you see the other side, it just sticks straight out. Now, though, it is um, flattened, and you might not be able to see it from here, but there's um, a crack down one side, so it's like split down one side. And that bit just above it, that big scuff, that was from where we was hit. I always think it's kind of amazing, really. We got hit at um, an accelerating boat that's about 15 tonnes, smashes into the back of us and that's all the damage that's where the water kind of takes most of the thing a few people ask us about it saying oh isn't it dangerous though when you get hit and things generally speaking the boat isn't the thing that gets damaged it, it would be things like like there like a pin that's sticking out or a chain or the canvas on this would be something that gets broken or the metal bits the hinges and things they're the things that get broken but the actual boat it's very very like strong obviously just made of this huge steel bit all around the outside the biggest danger for it is always rust it's not getting hit by another boat it's rust so we spent a lovely few days here in um coven moored just here before the anchor in great pub by the way uh, but today we're heading off on our summer trip up the shropshire union so we're going to leave coven and go all the way through towards Alderley Junction. So when we get to Alderley Junction, we're going to do all the services, toilet, water, rubbish, and then head up uh, first onto New Waters, up the Shropshire Union, through a couple of cuttings, and then hopefully more up on the visitor moorings in Brood. It says Breewood, but it's not, it's Brood. Anyway, looking forward to today's cruise. The weather is good. This is before and this is after. Very bent. If you haven't seen it we recommend their videos and they've been very very good to us. Any question we've had they've given us lots of support. So that is Narrowboat Natarins. Yeah Lumpy and Mrs L. This is Lumsden. Uh, this boat runs quite deep. Um. No response, no response, thanks for question. We probably shouldn't show this one on the vlog. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like there's a sewage plant just there. So as you go, as we <coughs> came out under that bridge, the smell was like a punch in the face. And funny enough, there was a house, it was one of the most stunning houses. I didn't catch it probably because of all the trees, but it was absolutely beautiful. It was saying like out the famous five might go stay there for their holidays. Oh. But um, I bet they got it a lot cheaper because of that factory there. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Hiya. 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 All right, thank you. Yeah. We'll see you on YouTube later. Oh, dear. <laughs> 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 oh, is that your boat, is it? Hey? <laughs> Hello, you.
here, the reason they're narrow is basically the navvies had to cut through solid sandstone. And obviously it was a huge job. So rather than do it as wide as they normally would, there is a shallow, narrow bit that cuts through. So they've kind of designed it so that um, it's not too much hassle. There's bits where you can pull over, bits where you can wait for the other boat and things like that. But yeah, so you can kind of see here where they cut through. seen it much but this is Sonia's concentration face. Mm. Doesn't come out very often. Try and keep it hidden. Try and smile but behind it there's like oh god very narrow. Very narrow it's very narrow and no. all. So this boat here very kindly has just way to the side um, because we ain't getting two boats down there. So you can see this is like a passing point just after just before the bridge. And they just pulled over to wait for us. Thank you. Thank you. We know if there's anything behind you. I haven't seen anything for a while. Yeah. Thank you. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> That takes you off on the Stour Port, bringing towards Wolverhampton. Um, but we got here faster than we expected. But we're trying to see a bridge number to see. But I'll show you when we get there. Okay, let me just explain why we've paused it and why I am looking so confused. When we set out on our journey today, we were expecting to come in from this direction, down the Staffs and Worcester, past Aldersley Junction, and then on to Alderley Junction. So as you can see it's quite a bit of a, a stretch there. And then we came in on this part of the Staffs and Worcester. So we read the map completely wrong. So the junction that's coming up is actually the junction from the Shropshire Union, the one that we need. But we go straight past it. Yeah, I've just seen a boat come out from the right hand side, which is an unusual occurrence when you're travelling along, so it must be a junction. It's got to be Addersley Junction, the first one, in which case we've made very good time. Yeah. Right, so the turning you just saw, which we said was Aldersley Junction, oh. it was actually what's on? Aldersley Junction, the junction we needed. Yeah. Turning, we needed. So we let Daniel go, oh, that's very nice, as we <laughs> drove straight past it. So <laughs> now. We've got to carry on a little bit and turn around and then go back to it. But yeah, we were just like, oh, it looks lovely down there. Yeah, it is, that's where we want to go. Yeah, so not like a car now, we're doing more miles than we need to do because we can't turn around at just any old where. No. We have to wait for a winding hole. So we're now going to actually go down to Aldersley Junction, put our nose in the junction and spin it around there. Yeah. That's the plan. Fingers crossed it's not a busy junction, eh? So that's so funny. Oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, we was looking at the wrong bit of the book. It was weird, I was looking at the map thinking, this don't make any sense. What's this turning? This shouldn't be this early. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, we were making good time. Right, so yeah, we're going to look for that place to turn around. So we may have missed our turning, but we do get to see these lovely bridges. Look at these. Oh, really bright. Yeah. We'll see them again in a minute. <laughs> wow, look at them. we go in is Chester and now we know. So welcome to the 
the Shops Union Canal. So we have one stop lock, six inches deep. After our little diversion, we've made it on to the Shops Union Canal. We're now filling up with water. There is no L sand here. Oh goodness. So um, we might have to drive to the L sand point, but never mind. These things happen. Yeah, it looks lovely already. So the CRT boat there just hit a big bit of concrete in the middle of the water. I thought it was going to hit us after. All fun. So yeah, this beautiful ornate bridge was just to appease the landowner so that the landowner uh, would let them put the canal through. Uh, it takes you up to Chillington House. I think it's Chillington House, oh, Chillington Hall. Um, so if you go up in that direction, it takes to Chillington Hall. And along the way, there was um, a place called Gifford's Cross. Where in the 16th century, one of the Giffords, well, look at that though, one of the Giffords actually shot a marauding panther in this area. I kid you not. Here we are, all moored up at Brood or Breewood. Just down, the next bridge down, straight off that bridge is where the pub is, where we shall be popping to for a little bit of lunch, I do not doubt. Oh so yeah, very nice cruise. Beautiful up here, beautiful up this end. I mean, they're saying it's like 40 miles of remote countryside and little villages. Fingers crossed that's true. Just up these steps is the Boat Inn pub, which is where we are going for some lunch. We had a really nice cruise here, we've moored up, given Willow our ice cream and we're off to get some much needed food because we haven't got any, funny enough, so up some stairs and then off we go. And there we are, moored just down there. Not too far to walk from the pub. So yeah, the bridge in. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks everyone. Yeah, we really appreciate it, appreciate everything you do. Every time you watch it, every time you leave a comment, means the world to us, the absolute world. It does, so thank you all for subscribing, liking and commenting. We really love to hear from you. Yeah, 
So, all we have to say is goodbye for now and see you next week, hopefully. Goodbye and see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Thanks again for watching this week's vlog. If you click the box on the left, you get taken to some random YouTube recommendation video. If you click the box on the right, you go to our playlist of all our vlogs in order. And if you click the circle, you get to subscribe to our channel. And remember, that is completely free.